out right here. You know, there's some talk, and talk is justified, of uh, faked uh, Egyptology. What you're seeing right here, I don't know if you can see it through here, you know, from this angle. You should be able to see it. This is um, Thutmose, Thutmose III, whom we say in our reconstruction is the alleged pharaoh of the Exodus. The alleged pharaoh of the Exodus. Anyway, look at both of these carefully. This is supposed to be both the same individual, the same pharaoh. Now, here you can see this is the unrestored statue of Thutmose III as a young man, right? As a young man. And this right here is said to be the restored. This is said to be the restored, down here, the restored statue of Thutmose the Tehuta Muse the third as a young man. Now look at both of them and compare and contrast. Do they look like the same individual even remotely? I mean it is it's very, very interesting as you start to get into the detail. They say the devil is in the details. You understand? Because the devil of white supremacy has totally taken away the Ethiopian and black Cushitic and Kamitic features in their alleged um, restoration. So if you look up Thutmose III, you will find a face like this in their um, so-called reconstruction. Now it's interesting because Thutmose III most likely was the pharaoh of the Exodus. Not the one who died or was drowned, but his army was drowned. This is what ended the 17 consecutive campaigns that he made. He was a great military Pharaoh. In fact, they called this particular Pharaoh the Napoleon of Egypt. Actually, Napoleon should be called the Thutmose III of France. But be that as it may, this is how he looked. But this right here is how they want you to believe that he looked. I mean, look at the, um, the headdress. They didn't restore that part. And you can see when you look at the close-up of the detail how they raised up his bridge of his nose and they changed even his lips. His lips was made slighter and smaller. And when you look at the original unrestored, this is the unrestored, you can see it very clearly that he has black, African, Ethiopian features. So this is something I wanted to show in our reconstruction, Ethiopic reconstruction of ancient Egypt, the Bible, and the Exodus. So when you're looking at a lot of the art and facts from ancient Egypt, the, the artifacts, you have to really look carefully and do due diligence because a lot of these pictures are out there, the original pictures that show proudly and prominently the black features. But what they have done gradually and over time is replace them. So the original, all the pictures are very valuable to us so that we'll be able to reconstruct the facts from the fiction. So this is something I wanted to share. I've seen a lot of these kind of fakes, you understand, these Egyptian fakes. In fact, this guy right here looks like probably one of the slave masters of the second captivity, speaking of this end-time captivity of the lost sheep so-called Negroes in the Americas and the Caribbean. But be that as it may, this is Thutmose III as a young man, the original unrestored image and the restored so-called image. So compare and contrast. Give thanks for watching. Shalom. Rastafari.